What's going on, yeah? Hey, so I got a new pellet gun slash BB gun last night. This is the Barra 1866 Cowboy Series. I paid about, I guess, $60 for it last night. It shoots BBs and pellets, and it's a lever action. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up and tell you what I think about it. And I'm also going to be taking this boy out and shooting it a little bit. Now, I don't have a course or a range or anything like that set up, but I'm gonna be doing that because, so let me tell you why I bought this pellet gun before I open it up. I know I hate when people take all long. It's like, I came for this gun, let's just get into the box. I wanted to do an update on this gun right here. You have to use air, so you know, you have to use air for it. This is the, uh, six hour MPX and I did a review on this and so it has to use these air tanks and this thing shoots really good I got a red dot put on it and everything like that it shoots good it's very accurate but it doesn't shoot at a very high um, feet per second and it only shoots pellets and I like to shoot BBs and I like to be able to shoot this shoots rapid but when it runs out you can't shoot anymore and it's not as much fun so this is a brake barrel and what I don't like about this is this is in my opinion it's not that accurate and the reason I feel it's not that accurate is because it comes with a, uh, it has two recoils. The spring goes forward, after, you know, it has a spring in the chamber. It goes forward and it helps you shoot the projectile out. But then after it hits, it, it comes back. And so if the, if the pellet hasn't left the barrel yet, the recoil of the spring going backwards will make you miss a lot of your shots. So I miss a lot with this for two reasons. One, I never got it sighted in to me good because of the action i just don't like it i never sighted it in good i tried to put a scope on it and it didn't work well so i went to this now i also have another bb gun it's a a um a daisy just a daisy rider it's the little cheap one that you know you get everybody's first bb gun in my opinion i use that and i like it it just doesn't have the feet per second or the ability to uh, knock anything down, but it's, it's good for knocking down cans. Let's get this one opened up right quick. I'm gonna stop talking and get to what y'all came here for, because I'm sure y'all were interested in this gun. So let's go ahead and get this boy out the box, see what it looks like, see what it feels like. Let me put this down for a second. When you open it up, it's all encased in plastic, you know, a little plastic bag. Hey, it does have a nice little weight to it. I'm gonna be honest, I felt like it was gonna be cheap. Like, feel cheap in the hand because it is made of plastic mostly. But I'm gonna be honest, um, so far, it has a nice build to it. I've watched other people's reviews about this thing and I'm gonna be honest with you. Looking at it, it doesn't look like wood to me. It doesn't look like real wood at all. Uh, it looks like plastic, it sounds like plastic. This, it does not look like metal at all. It looks, I mean, it looks like metal, but it feels like plastic to me, but it doesn't feel bad. It feels like plastic, but it doesn't feel bad. Now this is pretty cool how they serialize the barrel. It says serial number. It says made in China right there. This is my serial number right here. Uh, the barrel feels plasticky, but it, it, it feels, look, I'm telling y'all that this thing feels plasticky and it does, but it doesn't feel like a cheap weight. It doesn't feel cheap, but it does feel plasticky. The whole thing. Hold on, let me sit this down. Oh, <laughs> that didn't work good. So I'm gonna take that off right quick. One thing I like about it is this right here. This is your cocking mechanism right there. This is your safety right here. So that's on fire when the hammer's pulled back. It's on safe when it's forward. This is your pumping action right here. So this is your pumping action, your lever action right here for cocking it. This is where you put your BBs in right there. And if you're pe doing pellets, you're gonna put them in right there. Uh, so far, from what I see, it feels very, I mean, it has a nice weight to it. It does not feel cheap, but it doesn't feel anything other than plastic. They just used a good plastic. I'm saying, I feel that this thing will last a long time. I'm saying, I think it will. Let's get a couple BB, oh, actually, these are the pellets that I'm gonna try today. I didn't have any other 177 pellets. So these are the pellets I'm gonna be trying and I'm gonna take it down. We're gonna shoot into some cans and some other things. And then I got this for BBs and I'll put these in as well. We're gonna take this down and we're just gonna shoot some cans and maybe I'll put up some of this right quick just to see how accurate it is. And we're only gonna be shooting from about 15, 15 yards. It's not gonna be very far today, but we'll play around with it and see how it shoots and then we'll move further back. Look who came out here to watch me shoot the ducks. They running off to the wood pile right now. 
All right, let's get started. See how this thing shoot. So, so far, I noticed it's hard to load. Oh, loaded it backwards. There it goes. All right, so I got one loaded. Now I can cock it. Two, three. It sounds very cheap when you cock it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten shots. Hey, that boy is a, <laughs> it's a good shot. And it even felt a little powerful just then. I mean, it didn't kick, but it did. That sounded like it would have hurt. So it shoots pretty good. I like where the safety is. What I don't like is the chambering this every single time to get a new BB in it. But you see how one just dropped down right there and then you push it up. One thing that I did notice with it being gold like it is, that puts a good reflection off on your eye. Hold on, let's see if we can see it. You see how the gold like reflects into your eye. When you put it up and you're looking like right here, I see the reflection in my eye right here. And so it's really, really reflective. Let's shoot one from here. So that's what it sounds like with a BB. That's what it shoots like. I don't know if you thought that was powerful or not. This thing is a nice little BB gun. Uh, I feel like for what I paid for it, I think it's pretty good. $60, you can't ask for much. I think it's gonna be a nice little BB gun to walk around the yard and be able to shoot pellets or BB guns or excuse me, pellets or BBs. One thing I don't like is when you when it's time to put the, excuse me, when it's time to put the BBs in or pellets, you can only put one or the other in and if it's a BB, it will fall in there on its own. You can keep BBs in it and put a pellet in at the same time. I'm saying right now there's no BB in it. So if I drop this pellet in, that's the only hard part is for pellets, there it is right there so it's lined up and now you just push it forward and now there's no bb in there so now i can take and cock it and i could fire it safety it is pretty accurate that thing is working overall i'm gonna try to make this review as short as possible this was me in the barra 1866 it's a decent little pellet gun i'm saying i think that people are overhyping it on youtube just a little bit but i'm saying for what you pay for it i think it does exactly what it's supposed to I don't think that it's as uh, in person as, like everybody made it out to be like it was gonna be great. Like the way that it's build quality is, what I'm saying is the plastic feels like plastic and it looks like plastic. The metal feels like plastic, it looks like plastic. Um, it feels good, but it feels like plastic to me. That does not feel like real metal. Um, even the barrel, it feels, I mean, it might be a cheap tinny metal, but it feels good. I'm not trying to knock this thing. I'm saying for what I paid for it, I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing around with this thing. This is probably one of the best air rifles that I have right now because it does, it shoots both BBs and pellets. Um, I can pump it instead of having to use air. And for me, if I walk through the woods, I think that the BBs will be just fine. Well, I'm gonna go out here and shoot some more with this thing and see how well it does shoot, get familiar with it. But I'm glad y'all tuned in for my unboxing of it. I'm not having any problems out of it yet. And if I ever, ever have any, I will be letting you know. But for right now, I'll just be letting y'all go. Hey, what do you know? This is that Barra 1866. And this is your boy in the mouth. Miles, what do you think about it? Uh, it's heavy. It's heavy? Yeah. But the grip's good. The grip's good? 
Where's the bunny that you're shooting at? Oh, I was way back in the trails. I wasn't ever going to hit it. I just was playing around. You should set up some cans. I did. I set them up out there by the fire pit. You did? Yeah, we could walk out there. You see everything set up out there? Well, it's not set up no more because I shot it all down. I see. But that's how far away I was, where the chair is to the fire pit. It was shooting pretty good. It shoots pretty hard. What you thinking about it? It looks very good. I can tell that this is plastic now. Yep, see, even he says cheap plastic looking. Yeah, when you, can, when you can feel it, you can tell that it's plastic and the reflection. Yeah, that reflection is pretty daggone. That, that is uh, pretty shiny, like. Yeah. Yep. But it fires good.